Janus Motorcycle Repairs. If you're looking for help fixing your Janus motorcycle, look no further. Our comprehensive Janus Motorcycle Repair Guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your vehicle. Janus manufactures motorcycles that owners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy motorcycle requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Janus Motorcycle Repair from experienced professionals, your local auto helper can help. Clear the muffler, whether it's your kids or grandkids, the neighbors, or residents of the rodent variety. Someone or something could have blocked your muffler. This is especially common if the bike has been in storage for a while, or if it's been outdoors. Rodents looking for an accessible home might move into your muffler, but it's also possible there's just a ton of debris in there if the bike has sat for a while. Clear it out carefully and see if that helps get the bike started. Check for blown fuses. Just like a car or truck, motorcycles have fuses, and they can blow the same as in any other vehicle. Keeping a fuse kit on hand is helpful so you can replace any blown fuses with one that has the same amperage. If fuses continue to blow after you replace them, you likely have a more serious electrical issue somewhere in the bike's wiring. A blown fuse, just like a car or truck, motorcycles have fuses, and they can blow the same way as in any other vehicle. Check the main fuse and see if it's blown. You can tell the fuse is blown by either the black material found on the fuse or if the wires inside the fuse are disconnected. Keeping a fuse kit on hand is helpful, so you can replace any blown fuses with ones that have the same amperage. If fuses continue to blow after you replace them, you likely have a more serious electrical issue somewhere in the bike's wiring. Engage the clutch. It's usually a no-brainer for experienced riders. But for newbies, remembering to engage the clutch can mean the difference between a relaxing ride and a frustrating trip to the shop. Many bikes must have the clutch in before they will start. Even when you're in neutral, there's also the possibility that your bike's clutch switch has been damaged. And you can try pumping the clutch a few times to see if that helps reset it. You can get around the clutch switch. But long term, you'll need another solution and probably a clutch replacement. Spark plug issue. When a spark plug is about to give out, the motorcycle will run poorly, and it will sound louder than normal. Eventually, when a spark plug has gone completely out, your motorcycle will attempt to turn over but it won't fire up. Luckily, fixing a spark plug is easy. Depending on its condition, you simply have to clean it or go for a replacement if the ceramic coating has cracked. Spark plugs are usually only a few dollars each and can be found at any auto store. If you need to replace a spark plug, make sure you replace all the other ones. Clogged fuel injector. If your motorcycle will attempt to turn over normally when you try to start it but there won't be any combustion. Your culprit is probably a clogged fuel injector. If you ride your motorcycle often, then you constantly have fuel going through the injector, which ultimately cleans it as it goes. A clogged injector generally happens if you let your motorcycle sit for a long time. This will ultimately create old gelled up fuel that will clog your injectors and will keep the fuel from going through. You can manually inspect your fuel injectors. If they look dirty and clogged, that means they need to be cleaned or replaced. There are ways to clean your fuel injectors, like using a solution specifically for cleaning them. There's even a tool made to clean fuel injectors. However, since fuel injectors are generally inexpensive, you might as well go ahead and get new ones installed. Source